Good morning. I'm Valerie Milano here in Los Angeles, uh, the senior editor of the Hollywood Times, and I'm very happy to have Misan here. And I'm going to let him uh, introduce himself, and we're talking about the short film, The After. So please go for it. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Misan Harriman. I am the director of The After. Okay, so this film is talk about what what this film it's shortlisted for. Finish my sentence. Apparently, an Academy Award. Apparently, All right, beautiful. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. um, it's an excellent short. I know it's filmed in in the UK. Where exactly was it shot? It was shot in, in, in numerous locations in central London, um, near the National Theatre, uh, near the London Eye, and some, some locations near uh, the Battersea Power Station. Okay, and how long did it take to shoot? It was How long How long it is? Is it like 16 minutes, the film Eight, itself? 18 minutes 18. shot over five days. Over five days. Okay, um, so talk about why why was it important to highlight uh, why the murder occurred, and and I will write put on my article and and this interview um, that there will be some spoilers. You know, I I went through the mill um, to use a very British term. Um, I I had a pretty difficult time, like almost all of us in in twenty twenty when COVID came into our lives, and and so much of the world that we thought we knew was kind of turned upside down. I also had a, a newborn baby and, and certainly uh, multiple uh, mental crisis, mental health crisis um, in my own life. So knowing that everyone else probably had a similar-ish experience, I wanted my first piece of moving image to be something that takes you to a place where you can recognize some of your own open wounds, but also somewhere where there's a hand in the dark that's helping hopefully pull you up into the light and that is why I put some of the um the really um unflinchingly um you know hard to watch visuals that are in in the first three minutes of this after this senseless incident um we see Dale start a job as a rideshare driver. Um, why was this the way that he uh, integrated back into society? Well, with grief, I think one of the illusions of 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 um, telling yourself you're better is by almost lying to yourself that you you're you're having human contact. And one of there are few jobs that has more human contact than being a rideshare driver. So, you know, if you wanted to fool yourself that you were doing better, um, you could say, hey, I spoke to 40 people today. Um, and 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 I thought that that allowed him to hide in plain sight. But having the audience know what he's really been through and seeing him in that position, I thought was a really, really interesting juxtaposition of it all. And also having him observe so many other people's stories when we all know what has been taken from him. Amazing actor he, he is. Um, I felt right? that he's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, 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 um, I'm not even sure how much of that was acting because, you know, David um, ha has lost both his parents, but he buried his father not too long before oh. we started having this conversation. And I would dare say that a lot of that is is on the screen. And I, I remember our first AD who has been doing film, you know, for 20, 30 years. Um, I remember looking at, glancing at him and seeing him in tears um, mm -hmm. when, when, when we were blocking. And I was just like, he doesn't cry. You know, it, it's David, David gave us something that I hope we, we deserve to be the custodian of. Yeah. Uh, can you discuss the significance of the hug at the end of the the short? Yeah, you know that young lady in 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 this in 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 the back end of the film obviously is is completely unseen by her own family. Yet she sees this man 
she sees him when he needs to be seen. And there's something about children that I believe is as close as humanity gets to the celestial. And I believe we need to listen to children because sometimes they see what we choose not to. And that's what that scene was about. And of course, I've left it to the imagination of the audience to decide whether there was you know, another child being channeled through that hug as well. Interesting. Without giving too much away. <laughs> Not what? I'm sorry? Without giving too much away. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm trying to do the same, not do the same. Um, how did the little girl instinctively know what Dale was battling through? Well, I think that's the thing about kids. It's, you know, when I'm really low, um, my, my, my children know. I don't say anything. They can feel it. Just like my dog, even, you know. <laughs> you know, the, the, but there is there is so much about what's unspoken and what's felt that as we become adults, we lose that ability. And and I wanted to remind everyone how special the little people in, in our world are. Um, and, and hopefully that came across in that scene. Love it. Well, well, anything else you want to say about the film um, or yourself before we start closing out here? I just I just want everyone to to recognize as the year starting this is just this is a film that's trying to 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 let us know it's okay not to be okay I I want us to 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 look after ourselves um our mental health look after our families you know make sure our children have the the space they need to 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 be young in this confusing world and and hopefully we can all find a way to look toward the the horizon together Good point. Very important. And so how can how can our readers and our viewers find you, um, find more about the film? I mean, the film, luckily, we're with Netflix, so it's it's available to 230 million people um, at a click of a button. I'm my name, Miss Anne Harriman, on all socials, and I'm, I'm usually, um, you know, uh, banging on about some poem or some 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 cause that i care about or some film that i love from from the 80s or 90s so i'm um, feel free to fo follow me there and um hopefully this is the first of many stories that i get the great privilege of putting onto the big screen well it was a pleasure uh, meeting you virtually and hopefully you'll keep in touch with us and let us know what you're doing next uh, we are the hollywood times dot today um, our YouTube's the Hollywood Times official and uh, got our fingers crossed for you. Thank you. Thanks okay. for me. Excellent. Thanks again.